Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to download and install the Lux V1 shader for Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them but simply go to your search bar and type in a website called Modrins like so. Once you entered you should see modrins.com, simply click on Modrins and this will bring you to the homepage for Modrins. Now simply go to the top of the website to discover content and go down to shaders. Now simply go and search shaders and type in Lux V1 so Lux V1 like so. Here once you saw the shader pack here simply click on Lux V1 as the name and this will bring you to the homepage for Lux V1 shader on Modrins. Now Simply go on the versions tab and download the latest one as it has the most versions available. Once you click that green download button, all you want to do is go to a new tab and search up Iris shaders to run shaders on Minecraft. So simply type in Iris shaders like so. Once you did this, you should see Iris shaders are dev. Simply click on Iris shaders and this will be new to the homepage for Iris shaders. Now, simply click download now and click download universal jar. And you should have a .jar file now. What you want to do here is simply go to a new tab and you only need to do this if you cannot run .jar files but you want to go and search up for a website called JDK23 and you should see a website like this. I will have this linked in the description if you need it but simply click it and click accept all if you have this prompt and all you want to do here is simply scroll down and you should see JDK23 you should see a windows tab so if it's under it's like a bit green you will see it's selected and you just want to download this one here it's the simplest one if you're using mac os you can do the same thing but it will be more of a dmg installer or this one if you have intel but either way there you go so this is only if you don't have java already installed on your device okay so once you're done simply close your web browser and all you want to do is simply go to your downloads folder you might have a different download destination depending on your default, but for most of you guys, it will be right here. What you want to do here is simply double click Iris Installer. You should have a little window here. You want to select your game. You want to select if you're on Iris or Iris of Fabric if you want to add some mods. And just click Install. And there you go, it's all done. So all you want to do here is simply go to your Minecraft Launcher. And we want to make sure that we have Iris currently installed. And then we will be able to add Lux V1 to our Shader Packs folder. So. Here we see we have Iris and Sodium, so that's all good. And here we can go to our Installations tab, simply click here. And once they're here, simply hover over Iris and Sodium and go to the folder icon. Once you did this, you should see .minecraft here or something. So simply go and find the .minecraft folder, go on Shader Packs. And once you found the Shader Packs folder, like I just selected here, simply double click it, go to your Downloads folder, Select and copy Lux V1, go back to the previous folder using this top left arrow and click paste. So what we just did here, we just copy pasted Lux V1 in our .minecraft shader packs folder. Now simply go in the Minecraft launcher here, go to play, here we have Iris and Sodium, just click play if you have this selected and then we will be able to activate all Lux V1 Minecraft shader once Minecraft has loaded up. Okay, so in a couple seconds it should show up like so and what we want to do here is simply go to a single player world a server or a realm i'll just go to a single player world it's the same step everywhere and once we are in our world what you want to do here is simply activate the shader so to activate the shader all you want to do is go and escape options video settings shader packs you want to select, so just by clicking it, it will darken and click apply. It's that easy. And when you escape everything, here we have Lux V1 currently working. So yeah, that's how we get the Lux V1 Minecraft shader to work on Minecraft Java. And for a little extra, we do have some settings. So if I go back to options, video and shader packs, here we have shader pack settings and we can change some settings as well. So we can have ultra, low, medium, high. So if I put ultra, it's just going to reload the shader and it's going to apply ultra settings. So it'll just add some bloom, a bit of sharper shadows and that's it. Right? So yeah, 
that's how we get Lux V1 to work on Minecraft Java. So, if you like today's video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!